Welcome back. We're doing like two hots games today, seeing as I've totally neglected hots. We're diving back in. Here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Alrighty, Velskaya. Well, I guess we're gonna do the same thing as last time. We need to actually win a game. We need to do basic attack damage. So let's pick something that does good basic attack damage. I mean, we could just play Grey Main again. That might be kind of boring, though. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, maybe maybe some Phoenix. He does pretty good attack damage. Or some Cassia. Maybe some fucking... Maybe the fucking Butcher. Maybe we just go fucking butch it up. Or do something like Hammer. That's also good any of these options. Let's get rid of Diablo. Let's say, let's, uh, let's look at the old hammer. Well, Sky is a nice one for hammer, I think. Oh, we, we could do, we could do some wind blades, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> it's, it's probably the most boring character in the game. It's just like right click stuff. Uh, they've banned Orphea. That's fine. I'm pretty happy going against Garrosh, to be honest, is the hammer, if that's what I'm going to pick. So, what could I remove instead? Uh, Cassia would be a pretty good one to remove. It's always this one as well. It's always Rainer, too. That's a solid one. This one. We'll get rid of this one. <clears throat> the dunks, the map pressure. Don't really want to deal with that. We'll see what they pick. I mean, we might let our, our teammates here pick it instead and see what they go for. And then I could pick something a little bit later. We could pick some basic attack hero that kind of fits in a bit more of a counter type role. We still need to do something that does a lot of damage because 35,000 is quite a bit. Like our Thanos, for example, it would depend on the game whether you would get that or not. I think Hammer's looking pretty good. <clears throat> oh, that's right. It's not Team League, so I can't pick. I always get confused. <coughs> okay, we're rocking the Imperius again. That's fine. So we'll someone there. Everyone on the enemy team is on the do physical damage quest. Okay, I mean, let's just play Cassia then. Perfect. I will fight to my last breath. Oh, Cassia looks great here. Uh, I wouldn't play Tracer into this. Uh, I don't think it would go super well. They have a lot of fairly easy punishes on the Tracer. <clears throat> if I was a, an experienced Tracer, then maybe. However, I'm not, so. I think we get rid of ETC. I've been hella impressed by ETC recently. It's been a very, seems to me to be a very good tank. <coughs> yeah, Cassia and Lily would be pretty nice here. They're gonna ban the white main. Cassia, it is. Gonna go with Anna. Anna's also okay. Wait is over. Depends what ATL plays. Alex Straza or Anna? Okay, I would say. Probably Anna, then. I don't know. It's hard to know without knowing what our last pick is. Exactly. I mean, Anna's alright. Like, the nano boost thing would be okay. With Mephisto, I guess. I mean, it's not terrible. Here we go again. Chromie, how fun. And a Chen. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, boy. <clears throat> Ooh, boy. And this is where Lily would have been perfect. <laughs> Lily would have fit super well here, but no matter. All right, Ainsworth. Show us what you got. Something like a Leoric would be really, no, really good. Muradin. That's also fine. That's also fine. <clears throat> okay. I think Leor could be really nice because the ability with his ghost to reduce their damage would be so effective against the enemy team here. 
Um, and he'd also basically be able to ignore the, the two frontliners. He'd be, have a good matchup into both the frontliners, you know, with self-healing. He's not under too much threat. Uh, and then he can easily, like, just ghost through their team and just reduce their damage and really cripple them in a, a pretty good way. I think that would have been pretty dope. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, we'll do, uh, we'll do some, uh, excuse me, some Cassia here. Let's go. <clears throat> so, we could go for the old charge attacks. We could go for more of a spell-based one. They're both good. It's kind of a decision you want to make pretty early. Um, <clears throat> I guess it sort of depends. Do we expect Chen to take... Uh, do we expect him to take Panda Pals, or do we expect him to take Barrel? If he does take Barrel, there's... There's not really a whole lot we can do about it. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I think charge strikes is going to be the way to go. Just have our attacks bounce. Their, their team should be pretty stacked up. and We don't have a ton of CC to enable it, but we have some. We have more than none. Oh, shit. I should have thrown in a basic attack there. I would have done so much damage. That's a mistake. Uh, Onyx going very deep there. Living dangerously. I like it. Gets the kill, in fact. <laughs> Missed that one. Let's try to dodge that shot there. Okay, cool. And then let's go soak this way. <clears throat> oh my god. <laughs> Right through the middle, boys! Right through the middle! So I like to see. Land of the shadow. He's gonna get this, unfortunately. <clears throat> I think we still trade pretty well into him. Now I'm scratching my nose, so that's kinda dumb. We obviously want to sidestep that. Lol. Don't scratch your nose. Pro tips from the Kex. Okay, well, he went too deep there, so... I mean, he shouldn't be looking for the fight that aggressively. At least not unless he's confident to dodge the blind. So, that works out pretty well for us. Looks like they're not going to punish me either, so that's good. Alright, this is good. This lets me Hearthstone, which most importantly... has it significant strategic advantage of letting me scratch my nose, which is what we want. That's definitely what we want. Alright, um... We do need someone to be up there. Uh, we're gonna die in mid. Okay. Not the best idea. Let's get Ring of the Leech. So, what you really be looking for, you're not really looking for a death at that point or to force fights. You're really looking to get into these Merc camps relatively soon. That's what you want to do. But he's pushing out my lane, that's good. They're ganking bot lane, that shouldn't be a problem. He's Murden after all. I really need to be able to sidestep those, that's pretty bad. A for effort. Oh, what's he doing? And I missed. Of course I did. Well. We advance. <clears throat> ah, quite rusty in terms of this stuff. But oh well. Mm, heal myself up pretty quickly there. It's nice. Not too scared by these guys. At this point, I just want to push this out. Keep Regar busy is nice and dandy. Take that for some mana. And leave him there. We're going to come on down to this fight. Regar's not there. Who's their healer? <clears throat> Chromie shot has missed. That's probably a relief. I'm gonna get dismounted, so I'll just finish this guy off. And here's Chen, gone in. I'm gonna do so much damage here with this. We're able to output tons of damage there as a Cassia. This is gonna be great for our quest. So long as we win, this is gonna be great. And there's a fucking massive wave down here, so I do want to deal with this. I'm gonna be a bit risky. And I'm gonna burn it as fast as I can. Position properly for the Q. There we go. Okay. Now we hope that our... Oh, fuck. I didn't want to get dismounted. Hope our team is gonna be safe and smart here. Okay.
Okay, cool. Well, they're gonna go out of position. A bit too greedy. <clears throat> not respecting. They're like, oh, just seeing what's in front of them and not paying attention to the fact that I can quite easily get back here. <laughs> Let me sit still. Let's get Surge of Light. Okay, cool. That's enough. I'm gonna come down. Miss some some of this, but uh, it's all right. Yeah, I don't think they've got time to come onto the point, so that's why I'm not there. This was prioritizing some XP and some of that, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, bear in mind, like last game was going really well too, and then when it came down to like the team positioning, it got thrown away because people were just like going into the fight two seconds too early or running away from the fight two seconds too, you know, too late. And that's what eventually, like, we put us very far behind in that. That's good, though. That hurts a bit. Ouchies. We should be doing fine. Getting a good push and split soak. I want to keep that split soak going where possible. Oh, I don't have enough mana. Whoops. Yes. Well, this will do. Strange. I did not expect the protector to be destroyed like that. Ah, I didn't want you to hit me. Well, that was close. I want to kill this. And they're not paying attention, so I should. There we go. And now they're coming to me. Run away. Ah, they're not actually coming. They kind of gave up. Uh, do I want to tap for mana? We've got all of these Merc Camps are like... Literally, that's literally uh, gone through an entire first phase, an entire first objective, like six minutes into the game, basically. And there's been no Merc Camps taken yet. So that's a whole bunch of experience and po uh, power on the map that's been underused. And you can see that also in terms of lane soak. This has predominantly been like, this is one of the things that you want to look at. It's all about those missed opportunities. It's like the, uh, the map has been very underutilized, right? It's mostly been just this like big brawl in mid lane, which sometimes is ha uh, happens. That's a terrible cue. You want to hit two things with that. Sometimes happens, but oftentimes there's a, a better thing to do, right? So for example, going into the first objective, it's very difficult to take the healing camp, but taking the, the that camp is very, very impactful. So that's something you'd want to be looking for. Is he going to try like swap me again? Yeah, oh yes. Good for you, buddy. You know what? I'm just going to actually ult on you. Oh, you got away with it. Damn it. That's unlucky. Alright, I got my thing back. Oh. Thank you. So I kind of have to juke the... What's he called? The Chromie. It's a bit more important. That globe, though, would be nice. Didn't get it. She's got the slowing sands. Which is actually kind of nice for us. That takes some pressure off. I went too aggressive there. Taking that damage is kind of unnecessary. Enemy team is level 10 now, so this does get a little scary. They're gonna try force the fight. Yes, they are. Okay. Being safe. No need to go in too aggressively. They do have heroics, so even though we've been winning, it's actually an even fight. So we're being cautious, we're being safe, we're being careful. Okay, well, Murden's gonna die. That's not ideal, to say the least. That's really nice damage there by Mephisto. I like that. That's nice damage, too. Here comes Mr. Chen. So that considering that Murden died pretty early, actually, I'm not going to tap. I don't need to. I'm going to go do this. We want to grab this. This would be a big help. Tower really realistically adds up to a lot of damage. I think the armor only works against heroes. Yeah, heroic basic attacks. So you can kind of chill against uh, Merc Camps. I'll take this. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move in. They need to be careful about going in too soon. We're not in a big rush to go in. I mean, we're pretty happy to clear out one wave here. Just be, be, be calm. 
it's like there's no rush there. And this gets us 13. So now we go in with the talent tier advantage. And we're coming up with this as well. So it's uh, it's pretty good. We're going to get uh, Lightning Fury slows. Cause it's, it's good. Oh, I should have side set that. That's a mistake. Oh, well, I survived. Whoop. And this is why I saved this for. Okay, so I think the turrets did, did pretty well there. They had a turret in there too. Uh, poor old Chen decided to barrel me and he actually just ended up bouncing my heroic all over himself. Which actually works out just fine for us. We're not going to complain about that. Oh, the sidestep. That got a little bit scary. I mean, if they swap me in there, I'd actually be pretty happy about it. I actually would not be scared at all. Nano boost on me, eh? Okay, that's an idea. Jesus, that Zul'jin is already... That's actually super scary. He's already finished his quest. How, though? What happened? He's at 38. Fucking hell. He's so stacked, man. The hell happened? I'm gonna die here? Or am I? I'm gonna die. Oh, the, it didn't throw. Fuck. Well, I got a lot of self-healing from my level 4 there, but it's not enough. We're in quite a bit of trouble. My ability to stop the Zildjian is extremely low, right? It's like, yeah, if I get in range of him. Rip. If I get in range of this Zildjian, then we're good, right? But how can I get in range of Zildjian? It's very unlikely that that's going to happen. So I'm not sure exactly what people have been doing, but... And also Chromie's gotten extremely stacked as well. So what that means is that unfortunately, whoever... I haven't really seen it on my screen. I haven't been oh, privy to it, but people have been just eating their damage, right? And this is very dangerous because these are quest-based heroes. So by just feeding them and feeding them and feeding them stacks, you're making them extremely powerful. So that even though we're a level ahead technically, we're actually probably technically very far behind because of how these heroes work, right? So like, you know, you're just tanking way too many shots, you know? Which is extremely harmful. No, I think I'm going to throw that in just for some damage. Like, fuck it at this point. This is going to hurt. No, it's not. Dodged it. Good. The slowing thing is bad. Okay, we got people ran in front there and died. So, that's two unnecessary deaths. So, again, I would say, we're talking about this in the last game. That's, like, probably uh, bad expectations. The expectation being we must keep our, uh, keep our board alive, which is not a reasonable expectation at all. This is now quite scary. Okay, I'm going to tap for some health here. He's taking a lot of damage. He's okay, though. But yeah, getting quite scared here at this point. Okay. I kind of regret not having Valkyrie now because of that. Oh god, they're taking a ton of damage here. <clears throat> Luckily, this is still alive. But like I said, we are very far ahead at the start, but uh, some of these more poor choices are putting us in a rough spot. I think taking this camp is just fine. But it's very important with these quest characters that you don't feed them. Like, if you feed them, you make your, you make your life extremely difficult. So I, I don't know what the problem has been. Like, that's obviously not a very good move, but I don't know what the problem has been, but there has been a problem. Okay, don't actually do this. We need to reset it. We need to reset it. We're going to take so much unnecessary damage. Oh, they just stole our camps. Okay, we can go fast then. So two turrets for a healing camp? Eh, it's sort of comparable. It's unlikely we could catch Zildjian. That said, he's pretty far out. Oh, man, the, the slows. Hey, Maker. Okay. I'm blinded. But so is he. So we're not too worried. Ooh, that was actually close. It's actually very hard to play around this. I'm not used to this at all. Ouch. Okay, we should be fine. That's a good healing camp right there. And Anna will keep him alive just fine. Okay, good. That ends up working. It was scary, but it ended up working. That's good. We're going to grab Martial Law. Okay. 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 We're back in business, boys. 
Back in business. Okay. This would be a good... Yeah, that's a really good pick. That's excellent. That does hurt. I really need healing there. This is the problem of what's Ana gonna do against a Chen, right? That's a pretty difficult situation right there. What does an Ana do against a Chen? Whereas, like, Lili is just like, ah, cleanse and you're fine. And, like, at least Jugs can heal from really far away. With Ana, it's like, well, I can't cleanse it. And I, like, good luck hitting snipes on someone that's being bump bumped around all the time. Mm, rip. That is unlucky. I think it was a good fight to force. I think it was good play by the Chen. There's very little I can do about it. I mean, the mo the only thing I can really do is to aim my blind better and make sure that, like, my surge of light and, like, my basic attacks to get as much self-healing as possible to try to keep myself alive. I wouldn't rush into this fight. Murden's dead. How many items they still have? Even. I don't know. I don't think they have any left. This is like, you've got no damage here. This is a 3v5. So, I mean, like that just becomes the question of like, what do you expect? It's just these reasonable expectations again. It's like, what do you expect to come out of that? That went the opposite way to what I thought. Like, bah, it's like, you know, that's not the sort of thing you say bah to. It's like, bah is like, gosh, that didn't work and it should have, but it, that was never gonna work, you know? Need to be very careful here. With, uh, it's hard to know what to even do in this situation. It's like when someone feeds so obviously right before an objective, like, how do you play it? Like, what's the good player? It's like, there's no good play around that, right? We can maybe take this. I think we can maybe look for Merc Camps, and certainly that top lane is in dire trouble. We need to do something about that. But it's like, your ability to make good plays just kind of goes away at that point. He's gone the wrong way. Okay, well, that's a keep dead then. Rip keep. That's a weird color. So we lost a keep there for free. Uh, there's the Chen pick. Rip. <clears throat> Yeah, again, there's just bad expectations there of like, okay, so what ha So number one, that's just like a string of bad expectations, right? I'm gonna pop this in just for the sake of doing some damage. We've got no healer, so I'm gonna have to run away. Put this there, fuck it. Need to run. Oh my god, I might actually die. Yep, fuck. I should have run sooner. That was stupid. I should have run sooner, but there's like, a, there's, a, there's a string that's about like five incredibly poor. Uh, expectations and judgments of the game in a row there. So like, poor judgment number one is right there. It's like 3v5 and you're forcing a fight aggressively 3v5 right before the objective spawns, right before your two other teammates arrive and it's a proper 5v5. So you force that at the worst possible moment. And then you have like, you just feed right before the objective starts, right? And then your team is 4v5, right? And it's like, okay, well, what do we do? Wh why do we maximize our time here? And then it's the expectation then as well. It's like, okay, four of us against five of them at the objective. We just had one person die right at the start of the objective. Is the expectation that you're actually going to be able to fight for the objective? And the answer is, of course, no. There's no way you can fight for the objective. So what you make happen around the map, it's like you need to look at Merc Camps. You need to look at de-pushing that top lane, right? Uh, but people are just kind of standing around in a circle not doing any of that. So that's a problem. Uh... And then the false number three is like, okay, like, finally, finally we respawn on the Imperius. And it's like, there's a wave that's been building up here and no one's going to deal with it. Now, someone else should have dealt with it. It should have been dealt with, right? 
That's the cut. Like, it should have been dealt with ages ago by someone else. That's just faffing around. Like, just literally, they have their dick in their hand and they're just pumping, furiously pumping on it. Just like, oh, I mean, I'm right beside the objective. Oh, I'm so close, but I just can't come. And it's like, well, obviously not, because there's four of you and there's five of them. So go do something useful. Stop just like tugging on your knob for no reason. Go do something that's actually going to contribute in a useful way. Is that someone else should have gone to deal with that top lane. But then the Imperius respawning should be going to like deal with that top lane as well. Right? So that's what Imperius needs to get. Like, don't just run past. It's like, I'm the only person that can make it here. I have time to go and save this keep. But instead, I'm going to choose to just let the keep die and run bottom. And again, that's the expectation of like, what are you running bottom for? Like, why are people running bottom? And it's again, this another false expectation where it's like, we're expecting to like, force the fight on the enemy team like out of position at our fort when they just got a a, a protector it's like just just why why what do you think like why it doesn't make any sense at all um so rip basically is what i'm trying to say rip um unlucky unlucky